Tesla phone versus Samsung Galaxy S22. There's been a lot of hype about smartphones these days. Well, frankly speaking, some of them are actually smartphones, and some of them are just for experimenting, or we should say, wasting money in order to maintain brand value. But today we got you two amazing smartphones that will definitely drop your jaw. Tesla phone versus Samsung Galaxy S22. Hey guys, welcome to Genius Guide, your daily dose of geniusness. And today we're going to talk about two amazing smartphones that no one had ever made. We all know the Samsung S series, right? But the Tesla Model Pi is going to be the first one from Tesla. We really have high hopes, considering it's from none other than Elon Musk. So without wasting any more time, let's see which one's going to beat which one. The old timer or the fresh entry Model Pi. But before we begin, give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel. Also, don't forget to press the bell icon. With that being said, let's begin. It's been reported that Samsung's upcoming smartphones will be equipped with the Exynos 2200 SoC that is designed specifically for the Indian market. In preparation for the upcoming Samsung Galaxy Unpacked event, the company has confirmed the launch date for the Exynos 2200. And there is a rumor from the employees that Samsung will unveil its Exynos 2200 SoC in January, which coincides with a rumored date for the launch of the Samsung Galaxy S21 FE. The company has begun to tease the upcoming launch of its new flagship chipset with the tagline Hashtag Playtime is over, hinting at a focus on performance. However, no information regarding the chip has been released. While the company has yet to provide details regarding the upcoming chipset, it has confirmed that the processor will host AMD's RDNA2 GPU, which is common in gaming consoles and computers. In addition, it will also be equipped with features such as ray tracing, variable rate shading, etc. According to the company, the Exynos 2200 SoC will be based on a 4 nanometer process technology. In addition, the processor will be equipped with a Cortex X2 core as a prime core, three Cortex A710 cores, and four Cortex A510 cores. And in terms of its tri cluster architecture, it is similar to other processors such as the Snapdragon 8 Gen 1 and the MediaTek Dimensity 9000. Although so much things will depend on Samsung's flagship chip's capability to handle thermal issues due to the power available under the hood, fans are optimistic that everything will work out. As mentioned before on January 11th, the details of the Exynos 2200 SoC will be officially announced at the event. So there is also a possibility that Samsung will confirm the Galaxy S21 FE in the near future. In this regard, it is worth noting that the S21 FE is rumored to come with a Snapdragon 888 SoC and does not have Samsung's new Exynos 2200 SoC, which Samsung plans to use in the Galaxy S22 series. It is evident that for the first time in the history of the Samsung flagship series, the Galaxy S22 Ultra features an integrated holster for the S Pen for those who might be missing their Galaxy Note. As you will see, reports have gotten exclusive information that one model of the Galaxy S22 Ultra is expected to come with a whopping 1TB of internal storage, which should be more than enough for even the most demanding users. It was back in the early part of 2019 when Samsung announced the release date of its flagship that included 1TB of built-in storage. Definitely the most expensive Galaxy S10 Plus configuration. It came with a 12GB of memory and 1TB of internal storage, together with expandable storage, though that was still a common feature in flagships back then. On the other hand, the Samsung Galaxy S22 Ultra isn't expected to have an expandable storage capacity. In addition, Samsung's ultra-high flagship should be able to record 8K videos with the primary camera system, as well as 4K videos with Samsung's selfie camera. The majority of mobile photographers, who aim to shoot as much as possible on their mobile device and don't want to rely on a cloud storage provider, will gravitate towards the 1TB model for its convenience. But apart from the S22, the S22 Ultra will feature an Infinitio display that measures 6.8 inches and is equipped with very high quality LTPO Super AMOLED panels. There will be 6.8 inch displays on the base models. So there is no doubt that the phones will be running either the Qualcomm Snapdragon 8 Gen 1 or the Exynos 2200 with AMD gaming processors. Depending on the market region, in India the Exynos variant is predominant. According to reports, the S22 Ultra will come with a 108-megapixel camera, a 12-megapixel ultra-wide, and two 10-megapixel telephoto cameras. Additionally, the phone will come with a 40-megapixel front-facing camera. 
This device might have a starting capacity of 12 or 16 gigabytes of RAM and a storage capacity of 128 gigabytes to 512 gigabytes. However, in the Ultra variant, the battery will have a capacity of 5,000 mAh, while on the base S22, the battery will measure 4,000 mAh. And on the S22 Plus, it will measure 4,600 mAh. But apart from this, the incredible Samsung Galaxy S22 series is expected to be released in February, but there is no official confirmation regarding release, so we might have to wait a little more. And talking about Musk's Tesla Pi, so there is a lot of talk about Pi these days, which, by the way, is a short form of Raspberry, which is a small, low-cost computer that plugs into a computer monitor or TV and is operable with a standard keyboard and mouse. Although there is also a rumor that the Model Pi will have a brain phone interface from the company Neuralink. According to Musk, the company is developing brain machine interfaces to connect humans and computers with ultra-high bandwidth. And in terms of applying this technology, it's certainly next level because of the fact that it's possible to program your computer by just thinking about it. The way you can give instructions without even speaking them out loud. All you have to do is just think about it and boom, it will do your task. Additionally, the Tesla Model Pi is also rumored to have four cameras just like other smartphones. But it is expected from this satellite phone that its camera will not be any less than a real professional DSLR camera which is capable of taking a real clean image of the skies that are surrounding the red planet. But apart from the camera and everything, it also has a solar charging system which will allow you never to plug your phone into a charger again to get charged, but rather the solar panels on it will allow it to charge wirelessly while you stand and walk in the sun. In addition to this, the phone can also change its appearance in a futuristic way. So it's not a joke that this smartphone can change its appearance, or we could say its color, which might take a little time. Additionally, this Model Pi can also be connected to a Starlink satellite. Well, obviously, it's a satellite phone. It's supposed to be able to link up with a satellite. But the catch is you can attach multiple commands to your phone, and the satellite would then carry them out for you. By using an antenna called Starlink, which will be taken out of the box, users will be able to connect to the internet with their smartphones, wherever they are. As for the satellites in low Earth orbit, they are expected to provide much lower latency, resulting in download and upload speeds of 200 megabits per second. With this phone, you will also be able to mine cryptos for the cryptocurrency MarsCoin that will be used to fund settlers' activities on Mars. It is expected that mining Mars coin and using satellite connections to do so will have even more implications with the Tesla Model Pi and you may be able to use your phone to mine other POS and non-energy intensive POW cryptocurrencies in the future. Additionally, you could use it without having to create additional accounts in order to stake your favorite cryptocurrency. And talking about its release date, the Tesla Model Pi is expected to be released in 2023. Not before that, because Musk doesn't want to provide a cheap experience by charging a little more, so according to reports, he has been testing this mobile since 2018. But what do you think? Which smartphone is going to win this rivalry between Samsung S22 and Tesla Model Pi? Tell us in the comments. Make sure to hit the like button and subscribe for us to provide you with more must-known developments in finance and technology. That's us signing off. We'll catch you in the next one. Until then, peace.